here at the headquarters of Priests for Life, the largest pro-life ministry in the Catholic Church with my friend, Father Frank Pavone. The friendship is the most important part. We're also allied in ministry. Yes. We share quarters in Washington, D.C. That's right. And Father Frank, I've been dying to ask you this question. Isn't every Catholic priest pro-life? I mean, there's priests for life. Isn't every Catholic priest a priest for life? We get asked that a lot, and we say, well, we just help them to say so. You know, it's one thing to be pro-life. I get it. The issue is, what are we doing about it? Why are we so silent? Let's do more. We can do more. And, and in doing more, we win. And you are doing a lot at Priests for Life in a broad spectrum of both America, American life and internationally. Mm -hmm. Are you generally optimistic about the future when it comes to the sanctity of life and protecting life, or are you pessimistic? Oh, I've been very encouraged by what I've seen. You know, and, and as we know, we live a life of hope as Christians, which means we know that there's a victory we already have. I, I always tell pro-life activists, we're not just working for victory, we're working from victory. We start wow, with... Wow, nice distinction. You're right, Christ is risen. So we, we, the kingdom of death has already been conquered. We're dealing with the after effects, if you will. And uh, so we start with that position of strong hope and confidence. And uh, beyond that, the signs are very, very positive. When we look at all the opinion polls show, show the American public moving more and more in our direction. Abortion mills are closing left and right. They, they've been closing uh, for a long time. In fact, I often cite the statistic that since the mid-90s, the uh, freestanding abortion mills in America have been cut by more than half. Abortion I mean, mills being those who profiteer in misery by selling abortion. By selling Nobody gives abortion. it away. Nobody gives it away charitably. It's Nobody a business. says free abortions mm -hmm. because they're so good for women. That's right. And good for babies and good for society. They don't do it. So where do we go now? What, what's like, from your vantage point, which mm -hmm. is a very good one, what's next? What, what should we be doing as pro-life people now? What we have to do is, is, is activate the very, very basic, simple things that we're all capable of doing using more of the tools we have right at our fingertips like, like uh, social networking and, and uh, emails. The churches and the pastors get up there and preach the word. We're, we're, we're working on developing more training and more of this going online as well, uh, as we've been discussing, uh, for people to get their information systematically. Uh, more and more resources are telling them exactly what they can do, promote the alternatives to abortion, promote the post-abortion. And healing. this is all pastoral uh, care. This yes. is caring for people. Exactly. This isn't uh, advancing a political agenda. It's caring for people. And it's advancing the gospel and That's biblical right. principles, which are good for living. They're part of God's plan and design for us. Father Frank, Thanks. it's always a joy to be with you. Pleasure. Thanks for your hospitality here. I don't have a studio like this, so this is really <laughs> cool. Thanks. Good to be with you. Thanks.